On the subject of guys with local ties who hit it big, Jack Roush will preside over four drivers and cars tomorrow night at Kentucky Speedway. His influence in motorsports is as global as his roots are humble. Here's Jake Ryle. He's surrounded by winning drivers and fast cars. Throughout his legendary career, Jack Roush has won more than 400 races as a driver and owner of Roush Fenway Racing, earning him penthouse status in the sport. But his upbringing was far from glamorous. Jack was born in Covington and raised 70 miles east of Cincinnati in the village of Manchester, Ohio. His brother Frank and longtime friend Buster Rourke believe growing up in a small town has contributed to his level-headedness throughout the years. He enjoys coming here. He remembers where he came from. He enjoys, enjoys the people, and he spends a lot of time. I mean, he, he goes every car that's here, he, will, he views it, and anybody that wants an autograph, it doesn't make any difference whether it's a Ford Chevy. Even Manchester took note of his fame. In 2003, Jack Roush Way would replace Main Street. And the Jack Roush Day has been celebrated here on this street every October 15th for the past eight years. But like the Kentucky Speedway getting a NASCAR race, some things are just meant to change. We do an auction. Jack sends in some autographed items from his drivers, and, and, and which his autograph gets on the item. He does an auction with us out on stage. The annual Jack Roush Day has now raised more than $50,000 for the village. That day is highlighted with a lunch, auction, and of course, the car show. Even non-racing fans would enjoy his charismatic personality, relating Jack to an old left-hander you might recall. You know, he's he's like old Joe Nuxall. You know, Joe was, if you have a rain out day, he's put the microphone in front of him. I, You know, most people would shut the TV and know that's when I'd want to, because he'd just go on. Well, Jack's that way about automotives and about racing. He can just go on and on and on. And if you do attend this weekend's race, keep an eye on Jack. Keeping with his cat in the hat nickname, he'll be the one wearing a straw hat. Reporting from Manchester, Ohio, Jake Ryle, WCPO Sports. Thank you, Jake. Tomorrow's Quaker State 400 is the fruition of one man's dream and another's ambition. Jerry Carroll, the visionary who authored the racing facility, will watch as new owner Bruton Smith presides.